Hi guys, in today's video we're gonna talk about this liquid level relay controller. In uh, this application we're gonna use it to control our uh, water level in our tank, in our water tank. So, so for this job we need we need this relay 20, 24 volt also we need the contactor it's 240 volt 220 but the coil is 24 we're gonna use this circuit breaker this is for AC and uh, this other one is for DC this is a circuit breaker for DC also we need two LED lights one for like lack of water and the other one is for to show that it's the uh, our system is on uh, also we need we need some wires we need some electrode sensors I made them like this this is minimum uh, this is the command minimum and the maximum we also need a water pump but because I don't have one right now for this application instead I'm gonna use this drill and these are the wires for so now I'm gonna go with you through this diagram and explain to you what we're gonna do our application so we've got this tank here which has got we put some electrode in it electrodes we've got a com comma and we've got minimum maximum so the comma goes to comma on the, the relay and the minimum goes to minimum on the relay you can see it here minimum maximum and com and the maximum goes to the maximum so we've got we've got this these two lights here the top one is for when it gets the higher level and uh, the other one is for the lower level when the water gets to lower level you can see this you will see it like blinking and beeping and when it gets when our tank is full when it gets to a high level this light will lit so we've got 24 hour 24 volt DC coming from the power supply it goes straight to the circuit breaker and from circuit breaker we've got like uh, negative and positive the positive one positive one goes to a1 on the relay the the negative one goes to a2 on the relay so uh, now we've got these two lights here so the comma goes to the comma on this light and uh, it gets out from this light one egg one goes to number 12 on the relay and one goes to a2 on the contactor because we've got this contactor here and the circuit breaker we're feeding it with 240 volts coming from the from the main and it goes straight to this circuit breaker and from that it gets out to our contactor so one one uh, the life goes to L1 and the natural goes to L2 and it gets out from T1 and T2 T1 and T2 here straight to our water pump I forgot to tell you about the the, the negative here or the common here of this light 
it goes straight to the negative on this circuit breaker. And we've got this, uh, this one from this here goes to A1 and the other one goes to number 12. For this light, the, we've got the common goes to circuit breaker and it goes also to this light and uh, the the other one it comes out straight to number 14 number 14 and also we need to get one from uh, the positive of this circuit breaker to number 11 as you can see here goes straight to number 11 uh, what about yeah uh, this a a1 from the contactor it goes straight to a2 on the on the relay as you can see here so I think that's it for this for this uh, diagram, you know. And uh, now let's start and do what we have to do about the, our application. So as you can see here, I start wiring this application. So from from the circuit breaker, the DC one, to this light here. This light, it goes to this other light, and so now I'm going to show you how I did the wiring. So, from the power supply, 24 volt, you know, the plus the positive and negative go to circuit breaker and from the circuit breaker the positive go to A1 goes to A1 A1 on the relay and the negative go, go goes to A2 on the relay uh, and the, you know the electrodes we've got the com and we've got the minimum maximum Three of them. Com goes to the com here. here see, the minimum goes to the minimum on the relay, and the maximum goes to the maximum on the relay. So, but this these two lights, this is for the lower level, and this is for the high level. So for this one. see one comes one comes from the from the, the, the negative the output circuit breaker output it goes to one side of this light and it goes from this from the same same plug to the other light the lower high lower level light and from that he goes to number 12 on the relay to number 12 and he comes from number 12 he goes straight to A2 on the contactor the coil contactor and from there he, he, he gets out from the the A1 of the contactor to a2 of the relay okay so the other the other polarity of the light it goes to number to number 14 on the relay number 14 on the relay so now we've got the pump the water pump which is in our case we use the the drill this is the wire the, these are the wires for it. for it they go to here 
on the contactor, you know, the, the output of the contactor, which is 2 and 4. I mean, this is the, the input power, 220 or 240 AC. It comes from the main, and it goes to this bre circuit breaker, and it comes out from the circuit breaker, and it goes to the input one and three of the contactor and from that it goes out two and four to our drain which is the, the water pump let's say water pump so to give you some ideas in how this how this works let's say for example this is our tank this is our tank is full of water now it's got some electrode we've got like the electrode there they are like sensors the calm the minimum and the maximum as as you can see here if you can see them calm minimum maximum so when our tank is full the the pump stop working the we, we we can't get any power going through the coil of this contactor so the there's no electricity there's no power going towards our pump and when and once there is no no water in our tank the water level it gets lower like this it gets lower what it happened you know what happens is the the normal close on the relay turn to normal open and the normal open turns to normal close so in our case when it gets when the our tank gets lower in the water level the here the normal open goes to norm, uh, normal close and it feeds this coil and makes our power going through the, the contactor to our pump and it makes it working and uh, to fill up our tank again so I'm going to show you how this works practically first thing I need to do is to power it on as you can see it's powered on our relay really is on now so now we've got our relay powered on and we've got the AC coming AC power coming from the mains and going through the circuit breaker to the contactor so as you can see here this light is on that means our tank is full of water and that means the, the water level, level is higher we've got this this light is off when the, uh, our tank water is uh, lower it will beep and blink so now let's see what happens if our tank gets empty once it gets empty you see what's gonna happen. As you can see here. So after I had to tie this wires and the lights and put the wires in, in the back of this board, it looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna give you another show now so our light is on that means our water level is high our tank is at full once uh, our tank is empty like like this now
hard to guess to the maximum of guess. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy watching this video and uh, please don't forget to press like, subscribe and share and see you in my next video.